So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the most important shortcuts that will save you a lot of time when you're working on Ableton and is probably one of the most underrated commands of Ableton Live. Let's have a look. So the command is Command F. Command F activate the search feature inside Ableton Live. So, you know, for example, you want to make a track and you need to add a bit repeater, then you need to add a corpus, then you need to go for a equalizer, and so on and so on. You always drag and drop stuff. Then, you know, if I want to, you know, insert the instruments, then I need to go here, for example, drum rack, and I need to search here. All of this, it's just possible to do within the command of active search. So let's delete everything here. For example, let's go to the MIDI here and I wanna put a drum rack. I just write drum rack. And the other command is basically the arrow down and enter. Now I want to add a glue compressor on this drum rack. So I just close everything. I wanna add a glue compressor here and I wanna add other stuff. So command F glue and the first result are going to be always the audio effect and the instruments and the media effect of able to live so glue compressor is the first one arrow down and enter i want to put the reverb command f ref so you have reverb and hybrid reverb i'm just gonna just choose reverb okay so i want to add another equalizer command f i write 8 because i know that it's called a q8 arrow down and enter so this is the way for me to have an incredible fast workflow on able to live uh, you know I, I used to go with the mouse and always you know writing the stuff here and you know maybe check for the preset but i've learned to do command f and it's much much faster if there is for example let's there is a case that there is a normal compressor mix gel okay it's written like this written like this so for example i want to add the mix gel on my channel here so command f mix gel and is filtering out the preset of the compressor that has the name mix gel okay so this works also for instruments for audio effect for media effect and also for your personal preset that you create for example if i go to the master uh, there is a preset that i create for my master channel that i'm gonna show you and it's i named it ott and another name after ott so what i do is command f ott and i know that the first result is going to be obviously the audio effect preset ott of multiband compressor and the second one is going to be my own preset that i call ott plus wave vinyl plus sonar work so just choose this one and i drop it in the master okay and is opening already all the plugins another useful command that you want to uh, write down it's command option p because you i have now one two three four five windows open and i want to remove them option command p will remove all the open windows at once and you can reopen them again so in this ott <clears throat> wave vinyl sonar work and black box it's a master channel that i created myself using uh, the function the group function so that's what I'm saying. So it's uh, you also can filter out with Command F stuff that you tag and that you create. For example, there is an in in Rico instrument, Purple Wave Guitar. It's a, an instrument that I created. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna create a, a MIDI rack, a MIDI track, Purple Wave Guitar, right? Okay, so let's go here, for example, and write Purple Wave Guitar. And it's gonna filter out my own group that I've created of Purple Wave Guitar, which I'm actually missing, by the way, because I, don't, I didn't install the plugin. So basically this uh, command F and also for Windows is control F has saved me a lot of time. I can say that since I found out and, and I got used to use this, this command, I have increased my workflow by far, really. It's a really, really useful workflow and uh, it's one of the most underrated workflows that exists out there. So that's everything today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for everything. See you on the next one.